Hey, this is on tape, right? This is on tape. I'm from, I'm Jim Haas. I'm from Lafayette, Indiana. I'm here to celebrate freedom and understand what the movement's doing these days. You've had a bit of a rough time getting here, so James, I understand, is, is drinking early on this Thursday night, so good for you for enjoying Las Vegas properly, sir. That's right. Well, you know, you, you go big or go home. Okay, so why Freedom Fest? What's important to you about this, and, and, and why is your presence here important? Uh, it's a wonderful group of people, a wonderful group of ideas, that, the ideas that make keep carry the spark of Prometheus throughout, you know, the land of enlightenment and freedom and, and exploration and self-actualization, the wonderful things that Western enlightenment has brought to us that we have to celebrate and, and renew it all the time. Would America be better off without the federal government? Well, what does that mean? You know, like if we could dissolve the federal government and have the states be sovereign, would you support that? You know, the, the worst thing about the federal government is what it would replace it. You know, if we had nothing, that would be fine. If we had, a, a, like, a border patrol, volunteers, that would be fine. But, you know, on balance, it's not been very positive the last 50, 100 years. Well, if states were responsible for their own borders, because they had to be sovereign so that we don't have a central authority, would you support that? I, I support wide latitude for you know, self-government at the state level, at the individual level, and at the personal level. I believe in self-government, self-discipline, and self-direction. And so the more we can get back to that, where people are responsible for their own uh, choices and, and outcomes, the better. Okay, no, I love that because I'm really with you in spirit there. But then you said you want like government to control the borders. Wouldn't, I, I didn't would, say that. Well, that, you, the, that. The, that you'd have you're a border control. In. Okay, you're reading that. Excuse in. me. No, you're right. You're right. Excuse yeah. me. But that you would have a, a federal border patrol. I didn't say that. I, I said we need to get back to the spirit of self-government, where states, communities, individuals make their own choices and regulate their own lives, and they have the power to do what's really important. So, James, I'm going to challenge you, though, just to, just on this question itself. If you could push a button today and the federal government would go away, not like the people die, just the, the organization, they get other better jobs somewhere else, but the institution doesn't exist. States are now sovereign. Native tribes become sovereign native nations. Would you do it? Hey, this is on tape, right? This is on tape, don't, right? Don't worry. We're not going to turn it into the FBI. They're not going to see it. The, the, the like, you know, Alien Sedition Acts are, are not being enforced. You're, you're going to be able, you can call for the, revolution in America. What about, what about the Patriot Act? So right? the only reason what, what, what you're not about, actively what, calling what, what for dissolving Facebook? the Fed is that you're afraid that the Feds are going to see it? This is on tape, man. <laughs> if you and I want to conspire, we can do that in private. I believe in privacy. Do you believe in privacy, Adam? <laughs> Absolutely. But so I'm conspiring in the open. I'm actually running for the Libertarian Party nomination in 2020 on the platform of that. dissolving. Yeah, I'm that guy. And you're not so, yeah. a former Republican. This is amazing. That's amazing. Have you ever been a governor of a state and okay to gun laws? No, I have not, but I have gone to jail for what, gun rights. What, what amendments have you violated? Why do you think you're, po you're uh, eligible? Well, I'm, I'm eligible because I'm over 35. I'm a natural born citizen with the sufficient, uh, sufficient residency uh, status. But Oh, so you're a constitutionalist, I see. No, because I... I, I it, well, there was a reference there. I was... I was well, that does, I, I acknowledge that the current authorities who wield the gun say you can't put your name on the ballot if you don't meet these requirements. But if you mean, am I qualified to be president? Uh, Absolutely so you can, not. You're saying you're, you should be qualified to abolish the government because you can affect, uh, convince elected officials to go along with you because you're not that dangerous? Well, I think we can convince the majority of the American people to say we demand that the federal government shouldn't exist anymore. And wow. if, if, if the American people say that decisively, then I don't think any asshole in a suit in Washington is going to stand in our way. Well, so the premise is not that I'm qualified to be president, but that nobody's qualified to be president. That you've got to be some kind of psychopath what, you to want, want to that Boris power. You want to be the Boris Yeltsin of America? The bankruptcy agent of the federal government, yeah. That's, that's an interesting comparison, though, to Yeltsin. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, if you could, I want to see you stand on a tank 
<laughs> and, and drink some vodka and yell at people, and then we'll talk at and him. And then he'll come out and conspire we'll in public with us, and now we know what our next campaign ad is going to be. James, thank you so much for your time. That was a lot of fun, brother. Adam vs. the Man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam versus the man.